I officially got my stuff at Hermes. Hello my lovelies and welcome to another video. Today's one is exciting on so many levels as it always is when there is a lot of orange bags in the background but Today is the first one that I'm actually filming in this place and I kind of gave a few clues at the end of a few of my old videos that um, there are big changes coming. Are you pregnant? I'm not pregnant. Yeah. I'm staying long term in Paris and this is the first video that I'm actually filming in my dream apartment. Ta-da! Welcome to my home! Yeah, I think the first, first one. I have so much to share with you and I want to share so much with you. I just had like a really busy process of getting like very like basic stuff done around the flat. So it's pretty empty, like the shelves were empty. So I just put some boxes there and uh, I'm trying to get like, so far just got the plates and got the towels, which have not even arrived yet. We are getting a lot of new furniture, but it's just taking a very long time. The idea of this video is, well actually it came this all happened very spontaneously i was not planning on making these purchases but um there was some sort of idea at the back of my mind i went to hermes for um, their event i was invited uh, to their um, window reveal event they changed their windows in faborg saint honore store twice a year and it's been like this many many years collaboration with an artist that designs each window separately for different seasons honestly it's done so beautifully and something these these are the kind of things that i really like and really enjoy i know not everybody probably is interested in that and it was a beautiful evening after that i was like oh my god i would actually like a few more things from hermes because upstairs of the faubourg store was completely deserted because there was just an event the store was closed so i had really my time to go and have a look at products at items and different things and it made me just realize how much i want so many things from hermes which is of course a very dangerous field so so i'm heading to hermes second time in two days i was there two days ago already for the event for their new window opening and then i decided yesterday to apply for an appointment which is where we are heading now. Probably my favorite Hermes store. Now, during the pandemic, they have the entrance over to that side, so I'll have to enter there, but I just wanted to show you the new window, which looks beautiful. Look at that Kelly 25 over there. There are so many things also that I want for uh, my home. Pity that the reflection is so strong, so you can't really see it that well. We're now here. I can remove the mask here because there's nobody here in the private section um i'll show you a little bit what it looks like so it's a little hidden room in uh, faborg saint honore i actually came alone it was a very spontaneous decision here's me my camera actually battery died so i'm vlogging on my iphone and i'm very excited to see i applied two days after the window reveal and it was a friday so you know i was thinking like mm, even if i get an appointment it's going to be for a saturday it's not really the best day to get an appointment because I mean everybody knows that on Saturdays they don't really get stock but I thought like you know what I'll just try and then I'll end up going to the store anyway and getting a few things that I wanted to get. I got my appointment, I arrived at the work store and immediately I saw my sales associate. So I asked to see her, she took me to the little room as you could have seen. After that she brought me few things but i will get to that later i officially got my stuff at hermes i uh promise i cannot wait to unbox all of this for you i don't know if we should go from top of the like to the bottom but i also wanted to explain to you why i chose these things and what was the logic behind it and how i plan to decorate the home very happy because uh, everything that i kind of want can come to reality in this place because uh, it's like a true parisian kind of place with a four meter ceilings if you ever asked me before to close my eyes and imagine my dream place it would be this but of course keep in mind that i said at the beginning that i made an appointment which means that i was not there just for home stuff but also for leather goods so you know what that means let's start from the smallest little thing and you will start um, kind of understanding what and how and the thinking process very important so the first little thing that i am going to show you 
comes in a box like this. Now I'm gonna bring it closer to you so that you can see it. It is a little ceramic box with a lid and it is a mini box mosaic. It came so nicely um, securely packed and it's a gray uh, mosaic Hermes box now. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when you open it. And this is what it looks like inside. Now, I want to keep the matches for the candles in here or something like that because I have them actually everywhere. But the reason why I decided to get this and the reason why I really got love, love, love this collection is, I don't know if you remember my um, what I got for my birthday video, but I have already shown you a mosaic plate, which I absolutely love. It's mosaic is my favorite collection and it comes in two different prints So there is sort of like an orange mosaic and the gray mosaic and gray mosaic is something that is gonna go with <laughs> Where I live as soon as things are done how I want them to be done, but it's my absolute favorite and for that reason There's something else in here that I wanted to get in this box here you will see from the same mosaic, gray mosaic collection uh, plate. This is the change plate, it's not an ashtray. Obviously the ashtray has the cigarette kind of like uh, indention here, like uh, it's concave, whereas the change tray is completely flat. And on the back of the plate, you will notice it has like a suede uh, patch so that the plate doesn't damage the furniture or the furniture doesn't damage the plate in case it's like a marble table or something like that. God, I'm sorry, I hope the light is not changing too much, but I just had a doorbell ring, career birds and stuff because there's so much going on. Some details of the back of the change plate. I think this is so beautiful for me um, to have this and we will have like a quite a big coffee table. So I do plan to have like a nice little arrangement. I would also like to get a tray. I'm just trying to find which one. And these are the things that I'm not really ever sad to spend money on because I really like to have nice decor. And actually I bought, so far, I bought so many of these for other people and I never bought one for me. It's like my favorite thing to buy to people that I really love because I think it's something that you can have forever. You can keep forever. Fashion pieces are beautiful, you know, but the thing is that uh, you know, sometimes people might not like it, they might go out of, in and out of fashion, but it's like a change tray for me is the most beautiful gift to really get to somebody that I love. And of course also Hermes silk scarves, I think they're just so beautiful. This is the um, little plate that I was telling you about from my birthday. So I think that these two will complement on the table really nice uh, each other. And of course there are more pieces that I want to get from this collection. I just need to understand my needs in the new place because we wanted to get everything in the first week for the new flat. But then I said, okay, I want to live in it at least for two weeks maybe um you know kind of experience what i really need how the place feels etc what i specifically love about it is that you will notice that it has sort of like some silver bits in it but actually when they reflect they could also be gold so it's just really really beautiful and this is my favorite collection at ms i really really love it here we have the item Oopsie. Here we have the item that I'm sure most of you are dying to see, but before that I will show you something else. I actually mentioned before that I wanted this, uh, but I am not getting this actually for the living room, I'm getting this for the bedroom, and I will explain that when the time is appropriate. So I just wanted to show you. It was very difficult to choose, I have to say but it's what they call the kilt or the blanket or the spread, I think. <laughs> and it is um, a beautiful white and gray colors. Now I already have some of this Hermes homeware and specifically in orange color as well, which I think would work very well now here in my living room. And look, this actually works very well. This gray blanket I love so much and when i saw these colors these are like also my favorite colors even for clothing if you guys agree but i already have the big cushions and the smaller cushions and i also wanted the blanket but i would perhaps use them in the now besides the hermes home i also am 
dying to get so many of Jonathan Adler pieces and Tom Dixon pieces. I'm just um, doing one thing at a time. We are uh, frequently heading to um, flea market in Paris, which is like a vintage market where I already got some things that need to be delivered and um, the delivery time is never ending. I'm also getting my wardrobes, which I just decided to get like the most basic wardrobe. I will show you very soon, uh, probably in the next video actually, because coming tomorrow, I wanted to get the most basic one because I've consulted everybody under the sun and it's kind of a process. Normally in Paris, you have to wait for wardrobes at least three, four months and it's something that I cannot right now do. Also guys, I would actually love to get the mugs in mosaic, but I actually really like the big, massive coffee and tea mugs. I'm having my spicy apple tea. That's it for home Hermes stuff now. If you also have any good home recommendations for me in Paris, please let me know because I need to get so much stuff, specifically uh, mirrors, which are over two meters or two and a half meters tall. And it's very difficult when you're used to one country to come to another country and you don't even know. Like normally you go to John Louis to buy like, I don't know, like towels or something like that, you know where to get them. And I arrived in Paris and I was like, I literally don't even know where to get towels. So that was a little bit tricky, but we're getting there. Okay, I know everybody wants to see this and actually I also want to see it because it's always like one thing when you see this item in the shop and completely different thing when you see this item at home. I'm gonna do a different style unboxing on this occasion. Okay, I think I've never done unboxing this way, but I feel like this way you guys will feel like you're unboxing it together with me and it is kind of a special. And the smell of the paper is also like a part of the experience. I always ask you guys to pause and to let me know in the comments below what you think is in here. Keep in mind the autumn is coming. Dun, da, da, da. We have a beautiful Birkin 25 Togo leather, a tan, rose gold hardware. I'm officially obsessed. I think it's so stunning and it is my second Birkin 25. Okay, and I'm back here just to um, show you one more time what I got. My sales associate has offered me two different bags. I initially thought I would like um, Kelly 25. I also have like a, on my wish list a mini Kelly in a completely different color. I hate like seeing what's on my wish list. I don't know why, but it's not something I like to do because I've had experiences before when I say exactly what I want and yeah, I don't know. Initially, I, I said to her that I do want like a smaller bag because I have uh, quite a few big ones as well and I said I would like a Kelly 25 ideally in sort of like a grayish color or a Birkin 25 so she brought me two different bags and she brought me a Kelly 25 a beautiful Cellier Kelly Epsom leather with in indigo indigo blue color something like that and this bag was stunning I have to say that I think Kelly 25 Specifically, Celia is like my favorite, but this color was not for me. It was almost like not a navy, not a dark green, not a dark gray, not a black. You couldn't really see what it was. I love malachite, I love navy, I love black, but the colors kind of in between are not really for me practical. So she said, look, I would like you to have choice and decide what you want. But when she took out this, Griatan, um, Birkin 25 Togo leather with rose gold hardware. Rose gold hardware is anyway like pretty um, rare and I think so beautiful, especially on a gray handbag. When I saw this, I said like the decision's been made. I don't even need to think about this. This bag is so stunning and I cannot wait to have it. And I think for autumn, for summer, it doesn't really matter like this color. A tan is beautiful. I know that my friend Brian Boy he has a bigger size Birkin in a tan. I know what I want. I get what I want. And it's so stunning. And I actually looked at it. His has like matte hardware. I remember because it's um, a special order and it's so beautiful. So for me, I was 
I was really like, I was, wow. I said I remember to him, actually when we were in Germany in August, I said, this is my dream color for a Birkin. So here we go, a little close up for you guys. This is my second Birkin 25. I'll also insert um, my first one, which is in rose pourpre, which I think is a beautiful, beautiful color, but perhaps, actually I wear it in winter and autumn as well, because it's like a purpley pink, but um, I mean, this is a neutral. It's officially, my, my collection is kind of starting to be a little bit more neutral as well. Maybe it's the Paris. Yeah, I guess the Parisian influence is quite strong because I'm kind of getting more inclined to the more neutral palette. Uh, still, of course, maintaining my personal style, but actually I love my green Kelly and I'm wearing it a lot these days, but it's just kind of nice as well to add a few neutrals to my collection. So that is basically it. A lot of you always, always ask me about uh, prices of the bags at the moment and normally I don't really enjoy revealing um, that side of information, but because I actually am quite angry at the uh, second market, not angry, but I just think that the resellers of Hermes like pump up prices so much. I think it's also important that the people know how much these bags do cost and that the prices are not as high as usually. So I will insert um, the in-point description box for you guys to check. For many of you who are asking, the quota in Paris of the Birkin and Kelly are to a year. Constance doesn't count, so as you will know that I got already two Constances this year, um, so they do not actually count towards Kelly and Birkin quota. Yeah, I guess I'll still have to wait for next year for my next bag, but I mean, this is just like the best purchase i'm very happy to go into autumn with this beauty this is my fifth birkin in my collection and i can't even think like which hermes bag but i really like it and i will eventually hopefully also do a little hermes uh, collection video i'm actually i have actually never done that so if you would like to see that please let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you soon bye guys